Okay guys, let's troubleshoot the ROG Ally for Stardew Valley. Let's go ahead and launch the game. I'm going to press the Armory Crate button. We go ahead and press A for play. And if you guys are having problems with the controls upon launching Stardew Valley from your ROG Ally, this is the in-game setting that you're going to want to change in order to fix that problem. And if for any reason you're having troubles with the in-game in controls, it's a good idea to have a mouse handy in case the controls on your ROG Ally are not responding. Okay, so this is the key menu that you want to use. You can go ahead and press Y and then use the right trigger to select the controller tab and then go ahead and cursor down and you're going to want to make sure that your gamepad mode is set to auto detect. If it's set to force off you're going to notice that none of the controls work, none of the buttons work. So once you are in the gamepad mode force off, only a keyboard and mouse will be able to control the screen. So because the controllers aren't working, I'm going to go ahead and use the mouse and select auto detect. And then the moment I do that, the controls come back. All right, I'm gonna hit B to back out. I'm go ahead and select Y and right trigger to the exit to desktop. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is come back to Armory Crate by pushing this button, the Armory Crate button on the ROG Ally. Go ahead and tab over to Stardew Valley and then press the X button for game options. Go ahead and select set game profile. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna assign the two custom keys on the back, M1, M2. And we're gonna assign left button, right button for the most commonly used items in Stardew Valley. I'm gonna go ahead and put a list of all of the controls of the in-game controls from the in-game menu. I'm gonna list them out here. And this is the list that you're gonna choose from for mapping all of your keys to these four buttons. I'm gonna be careful not to use the other buttons because those are the most commonly used. The left trigger, right trigger, the X, Y, A, B, I'm gonna make sure that I don't assign anything for those. You'll see here on the top left, in the title screen that this is the game profile for Stardew Valley. From key mapping, I'm gonna go ahead and hit toggle right on the D-pad. And the first key I'm gonna assign is M1. And you'll see that on my screen here that my key is already assigned, but go ahead and press A. For you, it's probably gonna show a set as secondary function. We're gonna remove that check mark. Tab up to edit for primary function and hit A again. And then we're gonna map that to the keyboard, so right trigger, uh, right button twice to select the keyboard. And then we're gonna tab down to the letter M. Go ahead and press A. And then hit B for back. And now you're gonna see that the M1 custom key on the back, over here on the right, is now assigned to the map. We're gonna do the same thing for the M2 button here. We're gonna link that to the journal using the F key. And again, all of these controls are shown in the in-game controls in Stardew Valley. And then we've got the third and fourth button. We've got the left button and right button, which are unassigned. So we're gonna go ahead and assign those. You can see from my settings here that my left button is assigned to the left shift key which is going to make the main character walk since it's default to run when I hold this down. And then the right button is mapped to Y on the keyboard so that that will automatically activate the emotes. Go ahead and load the game. And again, if you're troubleshooting anything related to controls, make sure you have a, a mouse connected. All right, let's go ahead and test these buttons. First button I'm gonna press is M1. This should bring up my map. 
So when I press it, the map appears. I press it again, and the map goes away. Now for the M2, when I press it, the journal appears, and when I press it again, the journal goes away. The left button now will cause the main character to walk. When I hold it down, he walks and let go and he starts to run again. That's the left button. Holding it down and releasing, okay? And then the last and final and fourth button that we mapped is the right button. And when I press this, the emotes appear. When I press it again, they go away. All right, you guys, I hope you found this video helpful and I will catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.